Hey y'all, it's Lacey, the Catholic Icing Lady, and today I'm going to show you a really fun Catholic craft, how to make sacrifice beads. Now, sacrifice beads were invented by St. Therese when she was a little girl, and they're used to count your good deeds or sacrifices through the day. And the way that the string goes through the beads twice allows you to slide one bead at a time and they stay in place. So you can leave them in your pocket and count your good deeds all day long and the beads don't move at all. What you need to make your own is either a key ring or a St. Therese medal, a crucifix or cross to go at the end. Then you're gonna need a piece of string, cut it about three feet long. That's about how long I cut ours. Then you're gonna need 11 pony beads. So here I have 10 of one color and one of a different color. That's all you need so we are ready to get started. So now you're gonna take your piece of string and line up the two ends, then pull it straight to find the middle part of your string. So this is the middle and now I have a little loop, okay? So I'm gonna take my key ring or your St. Therese medal, put the loop through the hole then take your two ends of your string and put them both through the loop. Then when you pull that tight, your string will be connected to, the, to your ring and then you have two strings that are the same length that are ready to go with your beads. So I'm gonna start with a green pony bead and pony beads are perfect for this because the holes are kind of big and the string has to go through twice. So one string goes through one side and the other string goes through the other side. So I'm gonna show you how we do this. Okay, take your strings and put one on one side and one on the other pointing towards the middle. Put one string through the pony bead, then take your other string and put it through the pony bead the opposite direction. Then you're gonna take both of your ends of the string and pull them until the pony bead goes up to the top of your key ring. That's it, you guys are doing such a great job. So now we're just gonna do that for all of these green beads. So for 10 beads, you're just gonna put it, put the bead down, put one string through one side, put the other string through the other side, and then pull it up until it gets to the other bead. So I'm just gonna let you guys watch me do my other beads in fast motion because you just have to put all 10 beads on your string. Then when you get to the last one, put it on there and tighten it up, okay. Now we have all 10 here, so we're gonna take our string and we're gonna tie a knot and add just one more at the bottom. And this just makes our sacrifice beads able to double as a one decade rosary if we want it to. So what you do is take your two strings and wrap them both around two fingers and then put the two strings in the middle and tie a knot, but you don't want it to be really close up to the beads. You need some space so that your beads can slide back and forth. So if you think that your pony bead will go over that knot, then you need to double knot it. So that means make another knot just like the one we made on top of the first one, okay? But I'm just gonna go ahead and slide my bead on here. So this is your 11th bead. It can be a different color if you want, it doesn't have to be. And then you're gonna put another knot that's exactly the same on the other side of this pony bead. So again, wrap it around your fingers and pull both ends through the hole. Now this knot you want really close to the bead, so this bead is gonna stay in place between those two knots. Now you should still have a little string left at the end, and we're gonna use this to tie the crucifix onto the very end of our sacrifice beads. Now we're gonna use a different knot to do this. We're gonna put just one end of the string through our crucifix, and then we're gonna make a square knot. So that's right over left and through, then left over right and through. That's how you make a square knot. Then I'm gonna show you a really awesome trick to make sure that yours doesn't come untied and you can use it for a long time. So here's your completed sacrifice bead string. And we're gonna go ahead and take some scissors and trim this so we don't want it too, too close. You've got to leave a little bit of extra so that your knot doesn't come untied and then all your beads will come off the string. That would be really sad. So we're gonna trim this but leaving a little bit, little bit there. Okay, so now here's the trick that'll really make sure that it does not come untied. You wanna take some clear fingernail polish 
and just dab the knot to kind of coat the knot in a clear fingernail polish and that will keep this knot tied for a very good long time. So let that dry for just a few minutes and then you have your completed sacrifice beads right here. I really like this one in green and yellow even though we made them in all different colors and it's really easy to just slide the beads and they stay in place so it can be in your pocket during the day and as you make good deeds or sacrifices you can just keep count of those. So this one's totally done. Let's take a look at some of the other colors we made. Here was the green and yellow one. We also made this one with star shaped beads on a black string. So that was cool. We have this one that's pink and purple and white. We like alternated the colors. That was really fun. You can see some of these have the St. Therese medal at the end and some of them have key rings at the end. Then we made one with rainbow colors. This is possibly my favorite one. I just love things in rainbow colors. Then we made a really cool one on ribbon instead of regular string. And I think it came out really beautiful and it works just the same way. You can see I can just pull the beads and they totally slide and stay in place. So I liked this ribbon one a lot. Plus purple is my favorite color. So maybe scratch the rainbow thing. Maybe that was my favorite one. I can't wait to see what you guys do with your own sacrifice beads. If you like making Catholic crafts and you thought this video was helpful today, I would encourage you to click the like button and also subscribe to my channel so that you can see Catholic icing crafts in the future. God bless and thank you so much for joining me today.